Now that we have completed adding people to our account, it's time to verify our domain name with G Suite. We have told G Suite that we own this domain name, but how does G Suite know that it really belongs to us? So the next step is to prove G Suite that we are the owners of this domain name, and if needed, we can make changes to it. And one way to verify that we own this domain name is to add meta tag to a header section of the homepage of our website. And since we do have WordPress activated already, we can easily do that. So click on the See Example button to see where exactly G Suite wants us to place the meta tag. The C button will unfold an example of HTML code, which shows where exactly we need to place the meta tag in HTML code of our homepage. It should be inserted after the opening head tag and before the closing head tag. Another way to verify your domain name is to upload the provided G Suite HTML file to a root directory of our website. G Suite will then try to access this HTML page and if it exists under our business domain name, then it knows that we are the owners of this domain name. You can choose one of these methods and I will show you yet another method how to verify your domain name and also I would like to do it from the G Suite admin console just in case you have quit the step-by-step -step domain verification setup and went to a G Suite admin console. So to go to G Suite admin console, click on the manual setup link which is at the bottom of this view. This should take you to a G Suite admin console or if you got signed out of your account, you can always open the G Suite admin panel by opening in your browser window the admin.google.com address. Once you click on G Suite admin console, click on the start setup button to begin your G Suite setup. Review the terms of service and if all is okay and you accept it, then click on accept button. The very first step in G Suite setup for you will be to verify the domain name. So click on the verify domain name button. Then click on get started button. And we will come back to the same domain verification step-by-step -step wizard, which we have left just a few minutes ago. So now let's click on choose a different method option to expand the drop-down menu. From the drop-down menu, choose the option which says add a domain host record txt or cname. We will now simply follow the steps G Suite wants us to take to verify the domain name and if you know how to add the txt record or a cname, you can go ahead and do that and not follow the steps but if you're new to this process, let's just follow the guidance from G Suite. So the very first step is to open Bluehost in a new browser window tab and log into our account. Let's do that. I have opened Bluehost.com and I'm going to click on login link, which is in the top right corner of the page. Provide your login credentials and then click on submit button. And once you're logged into Bluehost, let's now switch back to G Suite and read the instructions for the next step. Check the I have successfully logged in option to mark this step as completed. And the next step for us is to navigate to the main name management section. So let's do that. So switch back to Bluehost dashboard and in the left side navigation panel, click on the mains menu section. Then scroll down the page a little bit until you see a list of your domains and check the domain name you want to work with. In my case, it is businesssmarty.com. Once you select the domain name, you should see its additional information on the right side. Look for Manage DNS Record Link, which is in my case in the line which says DNS Zone Editor. So click on Manage Link and then let's switch back to G Suite to read the instructions for the next step. This one we have completed. So check the I have opened control panel for my domain name to mark this step as completed. And the next step for us is to create a new TXT record. 
We now need to copy the values from this page, which are host name and the host value, and paste them into a page we have just opened. So let's copy the value from the first text field and switch back to our Bluehost page. The DNS zone editor page in Bluehost looks like the one on my screen. Now paste the value you have just copied into the host record text field. Then go back to G Suite and copy the value of host answer from the text field. Copy the value of host answer and now paste this value into the txt value text field. I will try to illustrate your steps here. Copy the value from the host answer text field and now paste this value into the txt value text field. And the last step is to click on add record button to save this record. Once the record is saved, you should see a little confirmation message at the bottom of the add record button. Also, if you scroll down the page a little bit until you see a table with txt records, you should also see a new record in this table with a new entry. The name of which should match the Google verification txt value we have just copied from G Suite. Now switch back to G Suite and check the option which says I have created the TXT record. We have completed this step. Very good, we have only one step remaining, which is to save the TXT record, which we have also done already. So we can check off this option as well. Check the last option and then click on verify button. Once you click on verify button, a domain verification process will start. Sometimes it's very quick and sometimes it might take up to one hour, but you do not have to wait on the screen. You can close it and come back a few minutes later directly to your G Suite admin panel and see if verification has completed. In my case, I had to wait a few minutes only. If you choose to wait on this screen, then once the domain name has been verified, the view will refresh and you should see a similar to my screen domain name verification confirmation message. Click on continue setup button to switch back to Google admin panel. If you clicked on continue setup button, then you will be taken to a Google admin panel. And as a next step, G Suite will suggest us to set up accounts for our team. Also, once the domain name ownership has been successfully verified, you should receive an email message from G Suite confirming that G Suite is now active and the domain name ownership verification has been successfully completed. This email should arrive to your current email address.